The Witch Hunt Trials continues. So amazing. Everyone, please welcome to the show, Ty Smith. What is really on Folkios and Folkoramas? I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man. Welcome to my channel, Modern Renaissance Man. If you or someone has been subscribed to my channel for a long time, double check to make sure that you are. But if you are fairly new to the channel, get an idea of what this channel is about. What do you do? Go to my channel, click on playlist. All these different things I do on this channel. See all these different thumbnails? Those are all different categories of things that I do on this channel. From comedy to cooking to DIY when it comes to fixing cars. There's a lot of things I do on this channel. So check the channel out in its entirety before you subscribe. I'm pretty sure you'll find something on here that you like. What's going on, folks? Folk around us. Welcome to the channel. Make sure you do everything I told you to do in this intro. I'm also on Twitter as the Real Ty Smith, and I'm also on another YouTube channel called Man, Husband, Father. All right, so I'm not gonna hold y'all long on this one, but you guys all know that Donald Trump end up having <laughs> the judge ruled against Donald Trump for you know that the, the bank stuff and all that, and him so called way overpricing his property and overvaluing it. 350 plus million dollars is what the judge ruled and said he has a what two or three year ban on doing any type of real estate business in New York. Yes, you heard that two to three year ban. Pretty sure Donald Trump is going to appeal this whole notion and what they're doing right now. But uh, as you can see, it's getting pretty crazy. Um, his sons got charged for I mean, his son got charged four million dollars and got the ban as well. And this is what he had to say about it. Eric Trump, executive vice president of the Trump Organization. Eric, you and your brother were fined $4 million each, both barred from operating a business in New York for two years. I mean, what are your thoughts tonight? Listen, Janine, honestly, my thoughts are the best thing I ever did was get out of New York. New York is a, is a hopeless place at this point. It's so sad. This judge ruled against my father before we even went to trial. He ruled against our entire family. It was a setup from the very beginning. This was never supposed to be in that court. It was supposed to be in the commercial division. They would never allow it to get there. This judge, the animosity, the way he looked at my father in the courthouse was was horrible. I've never seen such hatred in anybody's eyes before. Um, Janine, we're an amazing company. And I can truly say that I have never, we have never missed a loan payment. We've never defaulted. We've never breached a covenant. Deutsche Bank, they're the most you know, respected and sophisticated bank in the world. They came in and effectively testified that they had an amazing relationship with us. We paid off every loan ahead of time. They made hundreds of millions of dollars off of our organization. We put hundreds of millions of dollars of, of extra collateral into the respective assets, made them top tier. You know, we were called by every single you know, lender a platinum borrower. Every single one has called us a platinum borrower. Again, never a default. And you have an attorney general who ran on the notion of getting mm -hmm. my father. I'm going to go into the attorney general's office every single day, sue Donald Trump, and go home. I'm going to take him down. You watch. I'm going to sue the blank out of him. That was her political platform. She campaigned on that. She fundraised on that. We didn't have a chance, Janine. We I just know. didn't have a chance in New York because it's a rigged system. And... You, you could not have a better real estate company than, than ours. You could not have a more professional real estate company than ours. When COVID hit and they shut down every single hospitality company in the country, guess who never missed a loan payment? Guess who paid all of their employees? Who Guess who always did the right thing? Guess who employs thousands of New Yorkers every single day, puts food on the table for their families, educates their, their children? You know, I, I mean, you have a lost state right now where you have businesses fleeing fleeing, fleeing, and you have a company like ours that had paid over $300 million in taxes to a city. My father built the skyline of New York City, and this is the thanks he gets for doing absolutely nothing wrong, not a dollar financial loss. The exact opposite, hundreds of millions of dollars in financial gain. And as to Don and I, we every single witness testified we have nothing to do with this. They went in witness after witness. This is not what they did in the company. It didn't matter to this guy. You know, we were trophies on a wall for this guy. You know, this is the state of New York. I caution anybody. I caution anybody even thinking about moving to New York to just be careful. This is not the state that my father grew up in. This is not the state that we grew up in. It, it, this is the demise of, 
a politically weaponized system, and it's it's horribly sad, Janine. And and I promise you, we're gonna fight this, and we're gonna win at the appellate division because honestly, it's so egregious. It's so egregious. I promise you, we're gonna get it overturned. Well, you know, and I, I, I hear the passion in your voice, and I mean, so many people agree with you. So many people agree. Letitia James was was out of control in terms of what she promised. Then you've got a judge who's unhinged, who said juries get it wrong most times. You know, when he said he decides based on emotion. I mean, everything about it was all about lawfare. But you guys have had to fight this every single day, every day since Donald Trump took office. And at some point, you know, you, you, you have to say to yourselves, I mean, th this is just too much. But you, your family never gives up. The president never gives up. Why? My father never, my father never gives up. He's, he's the toughest guy I've ever met in my entire life. And, and he is hell bent on winning. And we're going to win in, in November. And, and Judge Janine, you, you know this. If he wasn't the front runner for president of the United States right now, they wouldn't be doing this. This has never been tried in New York before. There's no better real estate company in the country than, than us. They would not be doing this if Donald Trump wasn't the front runner for president, beating Joe Biden in every single poll, absolutely blowing Nikki Haley out of the water. That's why they're attacking him. They're attacking him civilly. They're attacking him criminally. They're doing everything they possibly can. No different than impeachment one, impeachment two, the Russia hoax, the spying on his campaign, the going after Kavanaugh. They're going after all of his advisors. You know, they're trying to they're doing it because Donald Trump is winning. They're scared of the movement that he's created, which is question the power in Washington, D.C. And, you know, and one more thing, you know, Judge, the yeah. appellate court has already declared victory for us in so many of the aspects of the case that the judge ruled against us on today. The biggest yeah. one being statute of limitations. Right and, right. and it's really insane. He just, frankly, he just ignores it and, and moves on. But this is his way of trying to punish Donald Trump yeah. literally weeks before he decides to retire and sail into the sunset. And it, uh, it has to be stopped. We're better than this as a country. Yes, we certainly are. All right, Do uh, Eric Trump, thank you so much for being with us. All right. And I'm giving Fulton County DA Fannie Willis a piece of my mind next. Yeah, so, I mean, a lot of people, guys, feeling like everything that's going on right now is a witch hunt. Do you think that they're trying to bankrupt Donald Trump so he can't run? Do you think that the fact that they're keeping him going through all these different trials and different court proceedings and all that, do you think that it's happening as a way of them pretty much electioneering interference? What do you think on that? If you ask me, if you guys truly believe that what is happening to Donald Trump is making him that much more popular and we are saying that, all oh, this is just strengthening Trump, making Trump better. I say, what's the problem? I get, look, look just, just hear me out. Hear me out. But before you do, hit that like button right now. And don't forget, if you're watching this, have you subscribed to the channel? Have you gotten into your phones? The contact list? Let somebody know about the channel? Do that for me. So, this is what I was about to say. If Joe Biden can campaign in his basement during 2020 and still win, surely Trump don't have to do a whole lot of campaign or anything like that, right? What you're probably going to see is even more of those trucks that we saw all over the country, parades and parades of trucks with Trump flags all over them. You're probably going to see more than that. And I do know Trump wants to be out there and talking amongst the people, but if they are going to keep Trump with all these court proceedings and having to go here, having to go there, as some shape, form, and fashion of what a lot of people are calling election interference and it's making him that much stronger, then I'd say, what's the problem? I know y'all don't like that. I'm just, I'm literally asking y'all this. What's going to be the issue? I know some people want to see Trump go out and speak, which he does without any problem. I would love for Joe Biden to go around and campaign and speak. And a lot of you guys are uh, wondering, no, you're not, you're not wondering. A lot of people are telling me on my comment section, you guys are saying that, you really believe that Joe Biden is uh, you really believe that Joe Biden is not going to be able to run some Michelle Obama conspiracy stuff is swarming around. I get it. I, I get it. Me personally, what I think I do not know. I have no expectations. I'm just going to let this thing roll out and go as it comes. So we're going to see. But yeah. Summarizing this up, do you think what's going on with Donald Trump is fair? Yes or no? 
whatever the case may be, answer the question. I want to hear y'all ex explanation in the comment section. The other thing, do you feel and believe that this is election interference that's going on? Do you believe that this is strengthening Trump? Do you? Huh? Do you? Do you? Do you? No. Yeah, just let me know about that uh, by leaving it in the comment section because uh, you guys have been doing a great job on doing it. And I love reading y'all comments because there's some things that people are saying things from different perspectives. There's Democrats in there commenting in here, telling their points on it, which, look, the way my channel is, I want people from all sides to express their opinions and what they think on here. I don't get on here and say anybody that has a difference of opinion of what I have and I see their comments. I don't go at them like you stupid, dumb Joe Biden, blah, blah. I don't do any of that. I want to try to figure out why it is that they think what they think. This is what it should be about. Period. All perspectives, all opinions and put it together. And after I read theirs, I can say whether I agree with them or disagree with them and move on. That's it. Anyway, don't forget to do all that again. Hit that like button before y'all get out of here. Check the cell phone. See if there's anybody on your contact list that you have not told about this channel. Encourage them to subscribe to the channel. I'm Ty Smith, Model Renaissance Man, and I hope and pray every last one of you had food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I pray every last one of you guys are in great health, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus. What's going on, everybody? So, hey, check this out. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to view these videos. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also, right here is where you can catch the next video, the latest video that I've done. But, like, right up here, this is stuff that I've done kind of in the past. So, in this area, you might find a video that I've done in the past. It can be funny. It can be something serious. It does not matter. But this is something that you can also do to check out more material that I do in my channel because I do a lot in this channel, all right? So, again, appreciate everything from you guys. Keep on watching it. Keep on supporting it. And God bless you all.